Join me and my friends at the first annual Fast Fun and Loud Charity Fundraiser on September 25th in the Vancouver area. Details in the description below. Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Casey and uh, this is my off-road rig. And uh, we're out camping right now. I thought it'd be a great time to walk you through some of the camping gear that I'm bringing with me out on some of these trips. I'm always evolving my camp setup. So it's time for an update for you guys. Let's start with the top. How about we'll uh, check out our rooftop tent. I'll show you what's inside and some of the gear that I have in there. And then we'll go down to my kitchen and cooking area. And then I'll show you the inside of the Jeep because uh, I'll show you kind of how I'm storing and arranging some of the gear and uh, what else we have that isn't out here. So we've got the uh, roof nest Condor. Uh, we've had this on this Jeep for a little while. I really am happy with this flip out a uh, hard shell rooftop tent. It's got a uh, full hard shell that encloses the Jeep when it's uh, down and it sets up really quickly. Now, the first thing we'll see hanging here, this is my little lantern. Uh, this is made by Goal Zero. Um, I really like this lantern. It has its USB plug integrated into it so that you can charge it anytime you want. You don't have to uh, go find a plug um, and then, or a cable and then find a plug. Um, you can check the battery level here. It looks like we need to charge it. Uh, you can hand crank it and you can turn it on one side or both sides, which is really cool if you don't want it in your eyes. And then it's got little flip, flip down legs to put on the table and you can unhook it from your carabiner and carry it around like a little lantern, sort of old school style. So really cool, I'm pretty happy with that. But let's go up into the rooftop tent. We've got the tent set up. Now, the one thing I really like about this tent is we've got the skylight. So the skylight has a plastic piece on the fly that's clear and that lets us open it for ventilation and not get rain, but also light. I really like being able to have the morning light. Look how light it is in here. Even though it's quite dark in the tent, when everything's closed up, you can pop the sunroof open and get some good morning light. Um, but let's start on the left hand side. We've, uh, for power up here, I have a really long power bar that's actually plugged into the EcoFlow and I just throw it up in the tent when I come up here. This lets me charge my phone at night if I need to run a heater at night and I can plug in my heated sleeping bag, which I'll get to in a second. For gear bags, uh, this is my Timbuktu duffel bag. I'm not sure if they still make this one, but it's uh, waterproof and it's got tons of room for all of my clothes and personal items and I can just huck it up here and if I need to go somewhere and carry it, it's got a backpack straps on it. Uh, just my all around bag. I've got an extra sleeping bag in case it gets cold, but I generally don't get cold with my Mantuli, Mantuli uh, sleeping bag. So this is a really cheap sleeping bag I picked up on Amazon and it's got a little USB plug. We pull out of here and we plug it in and you turn it on and it's heated. It's actually quite warm. It does a great job in colder weather, uh, keeping me warm. And then this is a new addition to that I just am trying out. This is a Thermo Rest uh, Mondo King, I think it is. Yeah, Mondo King 3D XL. This is a hybrid foam mattress. Um, I just picked this up because the problem I have with this is uh, the high density foam in rooftop tents uh, really isn't great for my my hip so I feel like I'm getting old but um, here we are we've got a uh, additional uh, memory foam an inflatable air mattress uh, I've slept slept last night on this super comfortable it's got really high quality uh, valves the intake valve uh, it's, you know all this is assembled in the United States it's got a one-way deflation valve so as you're rolling it up it keeps all of the air out and it, comp it rolls up really nice and compact. But uh, as far as the roof nest tent goes, other cool things, we've got storage panels on the back and we've got our flip down door here. Uh, pretty happy with uh, the roof nest Condor Overland so far. It's um, really quick to deploy and put out and it's done well in some poorer weather and it's the right amount of space for me inside and as well, it, uh, We've achieved my long-term goal of freeing up some more space on the rack, which we're using the Adventure Rack system. Uh, you can check that out um, with my soft top. 
And now we have our load bars on top. I just did a video organizing all my gear and installing these on the roof. So if you want to check that out, but we've got a couple of the front runner Wolfpack Pros on the roof with some recovery gear and some additional camping accessories. Uh, go check out the previous video up in the corner if you want to see all the things we pack in there as well. Uh, just how I assembled this and put it on the roof. And then uh, I've got some traction boards, but that's, that's kind of it for the rooftop tent camping section. Um, let's, we'll get back to the back or the rear of the camp, the cooking area in a second. I'll just kind of go through some of the gear that I bring inside of my vehicle. This here, we call the briefcase. This is my portable toilet. It's basically got three flip, flip down legs and you can use it anywhere to uh, go to the washroom. And then I have a privacy tent that we can set up if we need to. These little handy trunk organizers work really well. Um, it has a nice Velcro lid that I put on top and close up. It's got Velcro on the bottom, so this doesn't slide around anywhere. And it gives you lots of little places to put things like my pump for inflating my air bed. And then uh, we've got some cooking pans in here. I'm still carrying around the Nespresso machine and I've got some USB string lights and some other uh, cooking stuff um, that we sometimes put out, but it's kind of a nice place where stuff doesn't go flying and I uh, can store it. And then I've got just enough room between that and my Tuffy security deck for a couple storage crates, which I can easily pull out if I need to. We've got sparkling water, some chips. John's got all the healthy food in his Forerunner. And then right now I'm storing my 11 pound propane tank uh, in the other crate. I'm uh, looking at a mounting solution for my propane tank on, on the back here. I wanna mount it right here. A front runner makes one, which I think I'm gonna add to it. Now there's the tank right there. So we just sit it on the ground. But I think it'd be awesome to have a little mount right here. And then we just connect up our stove, which I'll show you in a second to that. And we've got uh, lots of propane. I don't have to worry about bringing uh, one pound those little one pound propane tanks out with me everywhere I go. So let's go through some of my storage. Oh, uh, let's look at the other side. So around the other side, um, I don't have it out right at the moment because it is too windy, but I've got the Rome uh, awning on here. This is a straight out awning. It's six and a half feet wide and it comes out eight feet. I much prefer this over the swing out awnings because of just eight feet of space. Getting eight feet of space off of the Jeep is really nice in bad weather. Um, and then I can clip a tarp on one side if the rain is coming from that direction. It's really kind of handy and we can cook underneath it. It's uh, done really well. I actually was thinking about putting maybe like a four foot wide one on the back that we can go straight out. I prefer it over the giant swing out awning because they don't come out eight feet from the side of the Jeep. And uh, I like having all of that coverage. So around this side, uh, this is where we have our fridge and our water. This is a Dometic CFX. CFX28. I don't know if they make this one anymore. I think they make a 30 or a 32 now. I swap between this one and a 55 uh, liter fridge. John's got the 55 liter in his uh, 4Runner right now and this one fits perfectly between my Tuffy deck and my seat with my Lifesaver Jerry Can back here. If you haven't seen this before, um, it's really nice because it has a hose on it and a sprayer so you can take it out and we can, we can use it outside of the Jeep. It has a uh, filtration system in it, so you can uh, acquire water from anywhere, and it filters it uh, on the it filters it when you go to use it. So on this side we have a pump, and we pump it up, pressurize the water inside, we open the valve, and then it's going to force the water through that filtration system, and we've got pressurized water uh, wherever we need it. It's really handy, and then I've just been carrying my Dewalt. Let's pull this out. We're... Pull this out. We're probably going to use it to cut some firewood, but this is the DeWalt 16 inch, 60 volt chainsaw. Super happy with this. And then I bring with me a hatchet and an ax. These are made by Fisker. I really like the plastic guards that go on them. They lock on and I can carry them around and they're safe. They're not going to cut anybody or damage the Jeep, but that's basically what I use for getting firewood ready. Oh, we've got a couple more of the front water front runner wolf pack pros these have their new and improved really much more stout latches on them these are big aluminum latches i think the old ones had uh, were prone to bending and warping these ones do not these are dust and waterproof so i can keep 
so I can keep my gear in here. Don't have to worry about it getting dirty. Uh, I carry on paper plates, a cutting board. It's where I would store my stove and I keep a little extra propane in here just in case while we're still figuring things out with the 11 pound tank. But uh, as you can see, we've got these on the roof and they're weatherproof, dustproof, all that stuff. We just kind of showed you a minute ago, below in the bottom, we've got the EcoFlow Delta Max. Um, I've got 40 liters of spare fuel in here right now because we're on a big trip. And then I've got my, I've got my toolbox down below it. If you want to see how I organize my tools and cargo, as, uh, as I said before, we've got a video. I'll put a link up in the corner. We just did a whole organizing video. And then on top of that, uh, we've got a couple of these dry bags. I forget who makes these. I can't even remember their logo. Oh, here we go. Right line. Right line gear bags. And I'm going to do a video on uh, clothing and, and personal equipment that I bring. But one of these has my multi-weather gear. So we've got cold weather, rain gear, and bugs. And then the other one, I keep uh, some toiletries and stuff for my daughter when she comes out. So we've always got that in the Jeep ready to go. And that's basically what I keep in my two dry bags. And they're always clean, always dry, no matter what happens, which is great. And then uh, we've got another plug plugged into the EcoFlow. This just goes around the back to its plug. We can turn the AC inverter on. We can flick this plug on. Right now I'm just plugging in and charging some of my drone batteries. But that other plug you saw up in the rooftop tent, I just fire it up every time we open the tent up and it goes around and up through the uh, hole in the side of the tent. And then I, I close it around with the fabric that closes the hole where the hinge is and it's perfect. Uh, we got AC and USB power up into the tent in just a, a minute when we set things up. And inside my Tuffy security deck, I have two really nice items. And uh, I'll try to put links in the description for everything in this video. But this one here, this is a magnetic light bar, which is great for if we need to, uh, we can just put it on the top and it lights up this whole area. I can carry it around. It's got a bunch of different colors and it flashes. It's USB-C to charge it. and. Just hit a button, it turns off, and that just that just lives right here, <clears throat> attached to the side. But this here, this up top is one of the most important items. If you guys aren't carrying around fire extinguishers, you really should consider getting one. This is an Element solid fire extinguisher. It's one time use, you can't refill it. They're a little bit expensive, but this has 50 seconds of uh, fire suppression. You basically take the top off, take the bottom off, strike the top at the bottom, and then this will start uh, emitting like a big fog, fire suppressor, fire suppressant. Um, and I keep one right here, right underneath here. It's just on a magnet. They have sell these little magnet mounts for them like that. And we just pop that up here. And if you need a fire extinguisher, you can grab it in seconds, really handy. And I know this isn't part of the camping gear video, but I'm gonna just show you this other one because it's really important in my opinion to have one of these in reach, in reach of the driver. But I keep a second one on my overhead rack. This is a JC, or JC overhead uh, molly panel, but you can put them anywhere. You can get a magnet. Um, there's other mounts for them, but I keep one right there. And if I'm in the driver's seat and we have fire, I just grab it and I've got it right away. Don't forget about fire suppression uh, in your overland camping off-road rigs, guys. Really important. Make sure you're carrying fire extinguishers. I've found the Element ones really handy because of how compact and you can mount them anywhere and how quick they are to grab and use, even though they're a little, even though they're a little expensive. They don't sponsor the channel or anything like that. I think they're just an amazing product. Uh, so check them out. Hanging off the side of my Venture Rack system, I have a uh, crash pad gear bag. And this just has all of my random kitchen stuff in it. We've got a knife, plates, bowl, cooking uh, hardware so you know flippers spoons i've got one of these little mini towels some hand moisturizer you know because your hands get dry when you're out here uh, bug spray i don't know why i have the bug spray in with the food salt and pepper and then uh, up top i have a little wind guard which i haven't really been needing since i got my drop down table uh, on the back of the tailgate i'll show you that in a sec um, I'm really happy with the drop down table, but there's a little wind guard for the stove in case uh, there's too much wind and it's uh, affecting the heat. We can unfold that, but we just pull this out of one of our uh, gear our gear boxes and I hang it up on the side of the rack. And then for lighting, this is my favorite part. We've got 
two Baja Designs S2 lights mounted up top. And we've got two more mounted underneath the awning. And they're connected up to the EcoFlow Delta Max as well. And we just hit these buttons on our aux beam controller. And we've got great scene lighting over top of our camping cooking area and as well underneath the awning. If, we're, uh, if we happen to be cooking underneath the awning, we've got really, really good scene lighting. I'll uh, fire a shot in here later when we have this on, but really simple. We can just turn them on and off right here with the aux beam controller and they're wired into the uh, EcoFlow Delta Max and that works awesome. So that kind of leads us to our Leads us, that kind of leads us over to our tailgate. Uh, so on here we have the, uh, we have my Jet Boil Genesis two burner stove. I've got the adapter that goes down to the 11 pound propane tank. So we've got lots of fuel for that. I really like this stove because two things, the micro adjustment on this, we've got so much adjustment on here. So simmer control, really great. And then it's got a built in lighter. So you just flick this, and it's lit you don't have to bring a lighter everywhere you go really really like this stove and it fits really nice on the uh outback adventures trail gator which uh has a really nice bamboo slide out cutting board it's got these really easy to operate latches you can drop this down with one hand which is super handy if you've got your cam like for me i've got my camera or drone in my hand all the time and then it's got a magnet across here you can put uh some of your cooking utensils while you're using it up on there and uh, hold them in place and then up above my uh, up above my kitchen and cooking area I keep my shovel and this is a couple rhino lac quick release clips you can actually get a key and uh, lock them in place but I really like these because they're one-handed and because of the rubber mounting if you uh, cinch these down nice and tight like that the shovel won't rotate while you're driving or anything like that and then uh and then last but not least we've got my new camping chair so this is the kuma uh, off-grid chair and a super comfortable super warm because of the thick padding um in it and it's got a special feature hang on i'll sit down in it in a second and show you um and then i've got a nice little fold out table for next to me if i'm eating it's really handy i can put my food down on it it just unfolds and then if we need to make it a little taller it's got legs and then i've got another set of legs so we can um, extend this up and we can make it as high as our uh, cutting board there and use it as a secondary cooking table but back to the chair it has these really cool wide feet on it so if you're on sand or anything like that it's not going to sink in and then we can unlatch it oh, hard to do with one hand we can unlatch it and we can extend the legs out so we can actually sit on this chair on an uneven surface, which is really handy uh, if you're in a pinch and you need your chair to be level. And then this feature here, oh, so comfortable. We can sit down, we can flip, we can uh, flip the arms up and slowly ratchet it back with one hand. If you do this with two hand, obviously you can go quickly, but look at that. And lean back and relax. I'll put links to all of this stuff down in the description if you want to check it out. This is my current camping and overlanding setup as of today, September 2022. And uh, do me a huge favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button. I upload every week. And leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate it a ton. I'll see you guys in the next one.